Hey everyone, um, sorry I've not uploaded for a while, um, but you know, as per usual, been busy. So this is a set of nails I did um, maybe about a month ago now. Um, so I thought I'd do um, a quick video and show you uh, the set. So we've already prepped the nails and everything, so we're going to use um, tips today. And these are Pro Impressions um, Tapered uh, Competition Clear Tips. Uh, really nice tips to work with. Uh, no blending needed. Uh, they are wellless tips, so you can just stick the tips on and go straight on uh, with your acrylic. Uh, the glue that I am using is the NSI Polybond. Um, as these tips are... Uh, got a good C curve on them you will need to hold them on probably a little bit longer than what you would um, a flat tip uh, especially if your client hasn't got particularly a deep C curve uh, on her nail naturally um, now Victoria my model today has got a decent C curve naturally so uh, I'm not having to hold them on too long but if your client has got naturally quite flat nails you will need to hold these on a little bit longer than normal just while that glue um, sets basically um, but yeah these come in natural and clear um, in 100s and 500s um, uh, 20 pound for 500 so it's really not bad at all um, so they've got a great C curve they're already tapered and um, they have those lovely straight sidewalls that I like rather than um, falling down. So um, all I'm doing is just roughing that surface up, not particularly blending the tip, just roughing the surface up a little bit um, and making sure that the uh, side walls um, are a little bit blended so that when I do my smile lines uh, on whichever tip I decide to do the smile lines on, um, that I don't get that little lip between the tip and the cover pink um, so just quickly going over the nail also if you thin these nails a little bit more then they are even more pinchable now all pro impression tips are pinchable because of the plastic that they use um, but the thinner the nail the more pinchable it is so if you have got that little bit of time to just thin the nail out then go for it but you don't need to so don't worry if you haven't got that time I'm only using a 180 grit file to do this with, nothing any stronger because we are going near natural nail. And then we can just get rid of the dust before we apply our prep products. Now my prep products today are uh, Nail Pure from Perfect Nails and um, Bond Primer from Perfect Nails. I've left the tips this length, I've not shortened them or anything, so um, she's having them this long. So this is a Glam and Glitz powder that I'm going to use, but I'm just going to quickly put just a thin layer of clear down first, so that when uh, Vic comes back, I can just file back down to that clear layer and then um, do a redesign. Now... I haven't got my notes with me and I always do my voiceovers at home and I can't remember what this one's called I think it's black black sabbath I think if I'm wrong I will put in the notes when I've looked when I've gone back to work and I've looked at what it is I will put in the notes if I'm wrong but I think it's glam and glitz black sabbath um, which is this gorgeous sort of black glitter but with silver pieces in it as well uh, but like more like shards than glitter pieces so they're not round circles they are like shards so it's really nice and then I'm going over the top with my Perfect Nails Clear Acrylic just making sure that I've capped all that glitter because although you don't have to cap Glam and Glitz I prefer the look of having a clear layer on top so that you get that beautiful glassy finish 
So now I'm coming in um, and using my Cover Pink, which is Perfect Nails um, Pink Mask. Uh, it's a really nice soft colour. And I'm creating my smile line. So placing that bead at that cuticle, allowing it to sort of fall down the nail um, and then using that belly of that brush to make sure that it's nice and smooth and then using the point of my brush uh, to create that smile line. And then just building my apex up a little bit and making sure that I've got a good wall of product and then using the dark pink transparent powder again from Perfect Nails to create the apex uh, rather than just using the cover pink the whole time. That just makes the whole nail look a bit healthier, a bit warmer, um, less sort of mannequin like. So creating your cover area with a cover product and then going over with a transparent pink product just warms the whole area up a little bit, um, makes it stop looking less false. So really using that point of that brush to make sure that my smile line is as crisp as possible but you can file it if you need to so don't panic too much. The brush that I'm using is the Perfect Nail Size 12. I've been using this brush now for a good two years. Just going to pinch this thumb um, and I love this brush. I absolutely love this brush. You don't have to use it like I am where I've not got the handle on the back. If you like a long brush put the handle on the back. I like a really short brush so um, I like to just use it nice and small. So this next nail um, I'm using black lace which is a, a black powder from Glam and Glitz but it's got a, an ever so nice subtle shimmer in it. So Marilyn is their black black um, but black lace is also very very black but it's just got this very nice shimmer in it so I'm using that one for this. This one I'm just going to do a bit of a blend, so just putting some cover pink on and then going in with um, one of our crystal ice glitters from the nail team. So picking up a small bead of clear and then dipping into my crystal ice. I'm going to go back and cap the black one again. You don't have to, but I just prefer that glass finish that capping with clear gives you. Some people like the full on solid colour, I just like the glass finish. And then capping the nail with the glitter on, so leaving the free edge a little bit clear on this one. So making sure that you're not working with your product too dry else you won't get that lovely clear tip. If you work with it too dry you'll get those sort of misty bits in. But if you do work with your product that little bit wetter than what you would normally. Make sure that you do not touch the skin with your brush so that there's no monomer going on the skin. So just refining my smile line, using the straight edge of the file to do that, so not the curved edge, the straight edge. Don't need too much, just refining really. And then going in with that lovely black lace colour. I do like Marilyn from Glam and Glitz, but the black lace for me, just because it's got that lovely shimmer in it, is just that little bit nicer. Always checking to see if the nails are ready for pinching so you don't miss that pinch. And then capping that nail with clear. Again, using um, the crystal ice glitter from the nail team. So you only need to cap the free edge. Um, because you've already put enough product on your smile line area with uh, your dark pink, so don't worry about doing any more on there. So when you're applying your colour, you can apply it nice and thin and really get those lovely crisp smile lines. Again, don't forget to get your pinch on and then I'm just capping this tip with my clear. I do love a black free edge nail. So once those nails are ready and they've all been pinched you can then start to file. 
Um, now obviously I've used the tapered tips but I'm not going to taper these too much. I actually want them to be pretty square uh, to be honest with you. So tapering them in a little bit but not, not a full on taper, not like a coffin shape, more like just a slightly tapered square. So I'm just a bit off screen on this one, sorry guys, but just literally smoothing that nail. It's the filing bit's always the boring bit, isn't it? Now if there is any videos that you would like me to do, don't ever hesitate to request what videos you want. I really don't mind. Um, and as soon as I've got the time, I will try and do those for you. Uh, filing routine, I always sort of start with my free edge area, my shaping first, then my free edge to make sure that the thickness uh, around the area is correct and then my last area that I do is my cuticle and apex area purely because we, because we now do the apex a lot further back than what we used to sort of 10, 15 years ago um, I find that if I leave the apex area to last I'm less likely to file that apex area away. Um, whereas before, when we didn't want the apex to be further back, we when we wanted it to be central, uh, I used to file that area first. Um, and I sort of found that then my apex became quite central. So I sort of changed the way that I did my filing routine when we changed uh, the apex to go that bit further back so that the nails last those extra couple of weeks that you clients require. Careful on the full black nail, you don't want to over file, um, you don't want to be filing through your black basically so that you you know you don't get like some clear bits. So whenever you're doing any sort of colour work on a, on a tip, um, make sure that you don't over file. You don't want clear bits because they will show up especially with black because it's such a contrasting colour. I'm using a 150 grit file now. Um, 180 when you're near natural nail but when you're onto acrylic go up to a 150. Don't recommend going any higher. I wouldn't go to a 100 grit file because although that acrylic is hard enough for us to file now um, it will still be uh, hardening uh, polymerizing over the next sort of eight hours so if we went in with a file that is too heavy a grit we could disturb that process and then you would get uh, sort of brittle nails or micro shattering in there so wouldn't go higher than a 150 grit file if you can help it get rid of your dust and just do any refining work that might need doing have a look at your lengths, make sure that everything looks even and equal. It only takes a few minutes just to do those final checks, but they can be very important on that final finish. A little bit of a smooth, not too much. Your gel top coats don't like too much of a smooth surface, so either use a, a nice new block or don't smooth at all. The top coat I'm using is Crystal Nails Cool Top. Uh, it's a universal top coat so it can go over gel polish or acrylic or hard gel. Um, so it's got that flex in it but it has the most amazing shine. And the other great thing about Cool Top is it will not change the colour of your black. Have you ever done a black gel polish and then you've put your top coat on and all of a sudden it looks blue? So that's because you have optical brighteners in some gel top coats, uh, which are great for when you're doing French nails, um, but when you're doing over black, they turn your nails blue. So Cool Top for me is my definite go-to product whenever I am doing black nails. Um, that is a 60 second cure in an LED lamp. Um, wouldn't go any lower than a 36 watt lamp for that. This glitter's also got an ever so slight um, sort of glimmer of lilac in it as well, which is lovely. And I always do my thumbs separately, um, just because some clients are just not able to keep their nails flat in the lamp. So 
I always do a thumb separately so I know that they're definitely going to keep them flat for me. So again 60 seconds in your lamp. Make sure that when they come out you don't put your cuticle oil on straight away. Just allow them a little bit of cool down time before you put that cuticle oil on. And as you can see I just finished off with some crystals and a little bit of royal gel art. But I do love a good crisp black smile line. Hope you've enjoyed this video guys. And like I say, if there's anything else you want to see me do, just let me know and I'll be happy to next time I've got some time. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon.